So I just um, finished um, this project. Well, I've done most of it. I've got to come back to tie in a bit. I'll show you in a minute, but I've done the four foot dia gate against the house. And then it steps down over the garden the wall there. And then I'll take you inside. Nice attachment to the house. Yeah, it steps down and then it curves around this roto bed. And you can see I kept the rails level rather than following the top of the wire. And I changed height as I needed to, um, to do that. Curved around this stone wall here. See the sunken edge there and then Jumped over the end of the septic tanks and then a corner and then a radius around behind that tree and then straight down to this eight foot gate. And and then it goes behind everything here. I had to do a fair bit of clearing, but it doesn't take long with my machine. I don't quote on clearing, but I do it quickly. You should have seen this. I should have done a before video, but this was very tricky. <laughs> and, uh, This is 230 feet, maybe more. And off to the property line. Nice tight wire. And then the back line, I just did the first bit to this property pin here because the next guy wanted it. His privacy kept. And then See, I managed to come in here with the machine to get into this, to stretch this piece of wire here. And then I've put in this cross fence here, but I haven't tied it off because there's a, a lot of yard work going on to this huge reno of the house and property. So I mean, I've left this open, a nice big gap, and I'll come back and stretch that bit of wire. So yeah, it's not a completely finished project, but, um, Getting close, I'm pretty beat. Just gonna come back and pick up some extra materials tomorrow. Change that gate to, from a six to a 10. Yeah. I thought I'd use the lovely light to do the video tonight. There we go. Complicated um, around that garden area, but um, it turned out nicely.